You have received your purchase of epilim railing, but you need to shorten a section. Start by verifying the length of material to be cut. You cannot add material later. Disassemble the railing section to be modified by unscrewing all 3 8 16 flathead screws from the vertical members. Once all horizontal members are free, they are ready to be cut. You will need a miter saw fitted with a cutting blade designed to cut aluminum. This blade will ensure a smooth and burr-free cut. You can find such blades at hardware stores like Home Depot. When cutting the horizontal tubes, make sure to wear the appropriate gloves and safety goggles. Mark the tubes at one end and make your cut. After all the tubes have been cut, the newly cut ends are ready to be re-tapped. Place the tubes in a vise. Use a piece of rubber mat to prevent damaging the finish on the tubes. A light clamping force should be sufficient to prevent the tubes from rotating. A thread forming screw has been included with the railings. You will need a ratchet, a 916 socket, and some WD-40 for lubrication. Apply WD-40 to the thread forming screw and start screwing it into the newly cut end of the tube. Make sure the screw goes in straight. The head of the thread forming screw should bottom out with the end of the tube. This will ensure enough thread length has been formed. Remove the screw and blow out the newly tapped hole with pressurized air. Repeat the process with all eight tubes in the railing section. Reassemble the railing section, and now the railing is ready for installation. If horizontal tubes were cut too short or customized mounting hardware is required, please contact Green Oxen.